one right there is that. See? Right there. Oh, there's one. Oh, there, look, right there. I see him. Yep. Yep. Here's another good one. Wow. Oh, oh, look at that. Okay. Good one. Oh, man. Lift up right back to me. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Yep, there he is. Where was he at? Oh, right back these leaves right here, right back this way. I think they're deeper up in it. The oh, there. Oh man, nice fish bait. Night crawlers and red worms. My son, Zach, and I have brought you guys out to the Savannah River. We're down at what they call the Little Hell Boat Landing. We're going to go out here and try to catch some brim, red breast, catfish, whatever bites today. This right here is just a flowing well. Natural flowing well here. The water looks a little low out here today. It does. It does look very low. and it's uh, running good. These little mercuries uh, are notorious for being cold natured. It's a little two stroke motor, 70s model, but still crunk up. And look here guys, in this lake off of the Savannah River, which we're coming up to right up here, this is one of the big lakes off of it. And one thing that everybody's familiar with that comes here to this boat landing and comes past here are in this area is this big barge that's laying right here would have been the big river barges that they would have brought up and down the savannah river hauling material we don't see a lot of that anymore out here but there are some big boats that still come up through here we're gonna go out here and find us a place to fish and get started on them We're coming right into the entrance of the Savannah River here now. We're headed upstream. Moving along. Oh yeah. Another thing that we did guys, we stopped by a little local bait shop and we got a couple cups of these little wax worms. See the little guy right in there. Two cups, dollar ninety-nine cent. Picked up some little size four. What we use for little brim, little small hooks. 
gonna be using some bottom rigs on the bottom. Got those worms from yesterday. And it's been about 15 years or so maybe for me being on this river in this area. Glad to be back out here, I can tell you that. It brings back a lot of memories. My two sons come out about a week ago. They did pretty good out here. I'm sure Zach will want to hit up some of those spots and we'll try a few more. What in the world? Look at this here. What in the world is that for, Zach? Secret weapon. Secret weapon right here, baby. Lord have mercy. Got the old brisk lemonade out here with me. Good boy. He wanted to go fishing. Here we are. I didn't really care if he went fishing. What is that on the bank? He's right there. Guys, under the edge of this bush. Or it looks like it is. Look at this guy. Big soft shell. Go straight up to it. Oh, he's gone. This spot looks familiar. Over there. Well, looks like a good spot. Let's get set up over there on that bank. It's on the outside of that curve, and what we're gonna look for, guys, is a spot we, you know, the spots that are eddying. They're doing that circle and coming back up around the bank creates that drop for the big fish to sit there and wait on the bait to come past them. I can remember this spot right here from years ago coming out here with my stepdad, my mom, and my brother over the years. And we would come right here where this river, the Savannah River meets this lake right here. And we would tie up right here on this corner. And I just want to come over here and try it. Let's give it a try. There's a log submerged right here, Zach. Yeah. yeah, see it right here under the water. Watch out for that. Pull right there on that log, Zach. Oh, get baited up and get out here fishing. When the fish ain't biting. It's time for this old boy to move. We've been here five minutes and ain't had a bite. There she go. Let's go, old girl, old black beauty. I call old black beauty, little Mercury. If you talk good to them, they'll, they'll treat you right. Yeah, she ain't left me stranded yet. See that water how it's eddying over there, Zach? Yeah. I see some concrete structure up on the bank. We could go around and pull up to that tree there and try it over there on that side for a minute. Pull up here and I just drop this across. That should hold us. What you think? Oh yeah. You guys think that'll hold us? I think it will. That looks like a good spot right there. Hooked up here, guys. I was fishing back there and I went to reel up. We was about to leave. And when I started reeling, this thing just grabbed it. And he's feeling like he's got some weight to him. Probably a good sized catfish or something. Might be a good jackfish. Oh, yeah, I think it is a jackfish. Well, give him, oh, give him a look. Oh, man. I think it's a good, uh, look like a little bass. No, look like. it looks like a striper. Beautiful, beautiful oh, fish. Oh, man. You got him hooked good. He's beautiful, isn't he? Oh, yeah. You're giving him all he wants with that little rod right there. He's not too bad. Only got the drag set just right, so, you know, he's not over pulling my line capacity. And I'm only hooked right in there in the edge of his mouth. Wow, what a beauty. Fish I've never caught.
and I'm estimating this guy right here, he's in the 16 to 18 inch range. And actually, I think we should go ahead and release him. I believe in the state of South Carolina, it's 23 inches. Well, we're going to let him go anyhow. And he is ready to go. One down. So we're going to give this spot right here a try. We can see a bunch of structure of the logs under the water just piled up right through here that creates the habitat that these fish love. So let's give this one a try, Zach. Oh, got it. He's under the log. Check that pretty boy out. Oh, Lord. Look at that, Zach. That's a sandwich. Check him out. That's a pretty bluegill right there. You see the dark blue color starting to show up under him. And while we're out here, we just do it the old fashioned way. Use that old stringer. A lot of people don't use these stringers anymore, but we still like them because they keep the fish fresh in the water. First fish, I always loop it back through that main eye. So I'm just going to run it through that loop. So he's looped on there pretty good. We've changed locations and Zach, he's hooked up back here on the back. Little butter cat. Little small butter cat. What Man, that? now that's some good eating right there. I'm telling you. No, that, uh, that's, is that the little... Channel cat or butter cat? All those speckles on him. I thought those speckles. Were Man, look how pretty he is. Is he big them. enough to keep? You'll clean him? That's one of them ones you have to fry whole. I'll eat him. I'll eat him at that size. All right, we're going to keep him. Ooh, got to be careful with these guys right here. Look, this and this and this is a really, really pointed fin on them. And you do not want to get barbed by one of them. You can throw him back, Daddy. Let, Let him, him get go. bigger. Let Let's him get bigger. Right back in the Savannah River to grow up. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Swing him around here and let me take a look at him. Oh, he's getting hit by something. You see him? Wow. Yeah, something's unscarred him up pretty good right here on this side. Check him out. Oh, yeah. Right here. Something gassed him. Pretty good. He's a keeper. Good day today. Beautiful. Try another spot. Look for another spot. Call that um catfish and the brim right here. And you can tell by this stump sticking up exactly where we were, guys. If you want to come here and check it out. Okay. I think you can find it. Maybe about a mile up the river. It ain't far. Mile up the river right side. Let's go get one of them honey holes though. Let's find one of them honey holes. Yeah. Won't tell you about those. I love a honey hole now. Get baited up, get a fish back in the water. And go for them. Oh, got it. Dang it. Me trying to video and made me lose that fish like that. That right there is just ridiculous. Oh, he's got him this time. Oh, it was a little one this time. Huh? I call that right there good eating size. Yeah. Here we go, we're starting to get them. That's a good three one, good three good one. Your turn now. Hey, you got to get one. Two. So check this out guys. Right here, this build up of stuff that's forming right here in front of this big log coming down the stream, everything's getting caught here. And I'm just seeing fish turn all up in this area. And look at all the trash and stuff that's in here. Another fish just turned right there. The Let's get this reel back out. 
beide Berge. Oh, there he is. Woo, he about got me under a darn limb down there, but I brought him out of there, boys. Yes, sir. He ain't that big, but I'm putting a smack down on, on Zach. Oh, and I'm glad of it, too. Now, I want to see you catch something, really, Zach. For real, you need to do something. Oh, that's why I ain't catch something. All right, I got to get this fish off. Let me try one of these black ones back here. Yeah, you go ahead and try them wax worms, buddy. I'm going to keep trying these baits. Well, I'm double baiting right now. Okay. All right, here we go, boys. I'm going to try to one-hand this one. Use this little rod like a cane pole sitting in this little hole. And twist it up around there. And he hit it. Already. Oh! Come on, get from under that limb. Oh, yeah! Let him have some slack and got him. Whoo! There you go. <laughs> he come out of there. Man, what you talking about? Look at the size of that boy. We got to get him off that. And we use a that size four little wire hook. This is what we have so far. Two, four, five, nice brim and red breasts or bluegill. Ooh, the time and work we put into catching them fellows right there yesterday is paying off. Let's get this thing back down in this little honey hole. And I'm feeling all types of stuff down there. Limbs, just debris. There he is. Oh, got him. Whew. That's a nice rib breast. Man. Oh, I was trying to get up. And, whew, about went in the water with that one, Zach. Zach was hooked up on one too, and Zach got one, uh, another one earlier that I didn't get on camera. But we're up to uh, seven keepers here now. Pretty nice brim and red breast and stuff, right? Oh, yeah. We're in this honey hole, babe. We found thing, one. Crazy thing is, is he just turned the camera off about 30 seconds before everybody was getting a bite. This is what I call the honey hole right here. Make sure I'm on the bottom. He's tapping already and there he goes. He's moving with it, see it? I didn't get that bait in his mouth. There you go. I told you that's a honey hole. We're going to get him. <laughs> so let's move spots. Why? They ain't getting no bites here now. Yeah, I agree. We done took everybody's cousins and aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters. Well, anyhow. We can go try another spot. We should drift straight on back like we're doing. Tie up to that um, tree that we're coming back on right there behind you. And fish behind those logs back there a little bit also. All right, we're coming into that there pretty heavy. I'll grab it. Well, the depth here is about right for the fish. I can tell. Luckily, we're right here by the bank. 
I thought it was a lot deeper than that. I got to get back in this boat. <laughs> My son Daniel and I were back out on the Savannah River this morning after falling out of the boat yesterday and all that everything started to go downhill for me and zach we had issues with the motor had to drift a couple miles down back to the boat landing uh, but we made it out safely got home and worked on the motor two or three hours and found a wire that was loose wired that wire back up got this little motor back running and me and my son daniel we're back out here on the savannah river and we're gonna do a little fishing with you guys today mm -hmm. i'm ready i'm ready to catch them Still gonna be using those uh, night crawlers, red worms, and wax worms, uh, Carolina rigs on the bottom. I'm surprised we ain't seen no big alligators. Got one finally today. Wow, new little spot here. So, uh, got a good one going? Got a good one, though. Feels, feels heavy. Oh, man. What got? Look at that. Hey, hey. Don't let him get away. Look at that. What a blue gear. That's what you come for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. Now, there we go. We got two, four, five, one being a crappy big blue grill, big blue gill, and some brim. And we're on to the next spot. I know you the guys didn't think we were about to call it the end. We we on to the next spot with you guys. Go so look for another spot. Do they hang out on that sandbar? People. Oh yeah. Like on the weekend, you know, oh, wow. drinking. That's a little sandbar. You'd have to be real close to people then. That'd be for a tight group of people. A little private little private sandbar right here uh, on the Savannah River. Come out here and just set your little grill up, you know. Maybe throw a rod out, watch kids swim a little bit, and make sure they're wearing those life jackets because the Savannah River, you know, is notorious for having really, really bad currents. We got to go get the fishing boat. Yeah. Let's go get them. Let's pull right up to them piles. We're hooked up pretty good right here. Let's try it here. See what we get. Let it calm down a minute and we'll see. Ooh, let's add another one. Yeah, yeah. Let's add another one to them. Here we go. See that one there, Daniel. See him up close there. Get him in there. We're going to end up losing our fish trying to show you guys. I don't know if it's worth it. <laughs> Y'all tell me. God to him, buddy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look what you done got now. Yeah, Lord. You got something there now. Some of these guys out here eat that big boy. Uh-uh, don't, you, you gonna let him get my line. <laughs> what you gonna do with him? Shit. 
Try to get the hook out of him quick enough. You don't want him? No. Pick him up, man. Let us get a look at him at least. <laughs> Pick him on up. I don't want nothing to do with it. Man, I'm telling you, that's some good eat. They say you fry it in the next morning. If you put leave leftovers in the refrigerator, they say it'll bleed in the plate. You Any of you country boys ever heard that? Good Lord, Daniel, you're catching them faster than I can get the camera going. Yeah. Ain't very deep right here. Don't take them on the rhythm up. That's a nice one. We're going to have a little mess. Fish fry. God, look at that blue thing on It's in a honey hole. God almighty. <laughs> look at that one. There. That's a good one, man. That's a good one. I've caught some good fish so far this morning. You ain't joking. Then you can see right here between these piles, these two piles, the water's coming in here and it's hitting off of that pile right there. Probably the debris piled up and it's eddying, it's circling around through here, and there's lots of debris on the bottom. Study getting hung up, and from what we're told, if you ain't getting hung up, you ain't fishing, right? Right. That's a big one. Throw him in there. I don't think he's as big as the bluebell. Let's take a look. He's close. Man. Somebody's going to be eating good in the neighborhood. We ended up with a nice little mess of fish today. Just uh, really enjoyed the time being out on the water and just want to give thanks to God for the time. And uh, thanks for Daniel coming along. Yeah. Just seeing a garfish turn back there behind you. It sure has been a beautiful day and we've seen other boaters out here enjoying this beautiful day all talk and look forward to the next trip. Don't know where we might be next. What the world, man? I know. <laughs> what the world? Oh, Lord. We're headed for the bank, Daniel, up here. Huh? Get it crunk up, buddy. <laughs> Come on, Betsy. Black beauty. Talk to it, Daniel. Smell like it flooded. Think about this. Yeah. All these fish Thank God these good old country boys came along and saved the day. Done got burned up out here yesterday with Zach. And same thing today with Daniel. We're gonna have to do something about that motor. 